This is part two on the top steroids for strength and size, oral steroids. Again, this is going to be emphasized for healthcare practitioners in the world that are going to be seeing men using these agents. These are the oral agents, if you will. Please pay attention, healthcare providers. So many men in the world perceive these as being healthy because it's not injectable. But it's very paradoxic, amazing that people know that these can be devastatingly dangerous. Not saying the intermuscular drugs are any better for health, but oral agents are definitely toxic. testosterone and oral agents because this is old history here you have test and you have the intermuscular drugs we just covered them now we have testosterone and classic oral drugs first one is doctor I'm using testosterone and D ball Diana ball methyl and this is an old classic dr. Ziegler back in the 1960s this is D-Ball. See the Breakfast of Champions video that I put out. This is a testosterone-derived, massively estrogenic drug, puffiness. This is large. You're going to gain so much water weight on this, but you'll be strong. This is the strength drug, oral drug, in addition to another one I'm going to talk about. You're going to get testosterone with Diana Ball. It's not uncommon for a man to say, for a cycle that goes up to say 12 weeks, he gained 40 pounds, 30 to 40. Obviously a lot of it's water, but his bench press can go through the roof. And this is why they do it. Don't hate on these people. Who doesn't want to be big and strong? These are not professional athletes. This is the common man that just wants to be big and strong. There's nothing wrong with that, but they're hurting themselves. Please educate yourself on this and don't disparage. This is a classic oral agent. It's 17 alpha alkylated. That's a drug that men inherently know more than you, healthcare providers. Isn't that amazing? They know more about this than you do. They understand it's an alpha alkylated drug and it could hurt the first pass effect in the liver. So they take it. Most men in the world who are bro scientists that research on their own, they understand, keep it limited. Versus the other drugs they stay on, they can blast and cruise, like testosterone. They'll stay on it forever. It doesn't hurt the liver. Testosterone doesn't hurt the liver, essentially. It doesn't work that way. This drug can. This drug has wide-reaching side effects, and that's the reason why back in the 60s, medically, it didn't take hold. And it's not a drug that we use medically, ethically, because it can definitely hurt people. But boy, you can get big and strong. It affects the liver. You'll see transaminases elevate. Doctor, if you see that, you have to think maybe they're on an oral agent in addition to the other drugs we talked about. It's going to have wide-reaching effects across the cardiovascular system. Hypertension because of the edema, left ventricular hypertrophy, anabolic steroids. Now we have tons of data. Dr. Bagish, look at his amazing work. A guy from Harvard, amazing, looking at steroid users, definitely get a thickness in the left ventricle called LVH and a reduction unfortunately in their systolic ejection fraction and we see it across the board with diastolic dysfunction as well please pay attention lipid abnormalities testosterone will do it this will do it even more a good HDL that you need sir please you need this sir you need a good strong HDL many men don't have it inherently and your HDL is going to tank into the tank if you take this drug and other drugs with depending on what your side effects and what your inherent medical history and your family history is, if you have a dad that had a bypass around the age of 50 or 60 or maybe younger, this is going to definitely potentially be a problem for you, certainly if you stay on it cumulatively for years. And that's the problem. There's medical cumulative effects that I've discovered. Please, healthcare providers, come on my educational wing. Please understand this and work together with me. Next, another huge and the biggest oral anabolic steroid known to the face of the earth is Anadrol 50, oxymethylone. This is a monster. Anadrol 50, A-bombs. Check that video. 
This is DHT derived. Again, amazing the chemistries back in the 1960s. This is the absolute strongest drug in the world. Imagine you're on test, you're on trend, and you're on anadrol. People do it. Why? Because they want to get very strong and very big. This works. This is very estrogenic, like D-ball, like Diana ball. Very, very similar. Actually, it mimics, and it's very similar to Diana ball, but it's definitely stronger. Imagine the consequences on your health on the LFTs and the liver enzymes. I have seen severe liver injury from this drug alone on top of Diana ball because men have stayed on it too long and they've had an inherent propensity for these problems. That's what it comes down to. The moons line up. Please, doctors, understand this. Like you're very good healthcare providers, please understand this is a real thing now in the world. Next, oral drug. This is kind of esoteric. People don't understand, unless you're really in this world, that you take testosterone, you take trend, DECA, you take equipoise. Another massive strength drug is Anovar, Oxandrolone. I know men that I've had the amazing humility to take care of before some of them have passed on over the last 15 to 20 years that are pro bodybuilders, powerlifters, and experts in strength from the 70s into the 90s. They tell me that they use two drugs only, Sussanon 250 and Anovar. Remember, these are amazing athletes, these are amazingly strong people, and they're focused and they're, they're monsters at what they do. Of course, they use steroids. Every strength person in the world is using steroids. Don't be fooled about this, but don't hate on these people. Anovar. It's thought to be a wonder steroid. You could see that video. Why? It's thought to be light. It's thought to be safe. It's used by women as well. This is probably the number one drug in addition to oral winstrol that is used by women. Please pay attention. It's a DHT derived drug. This is why it's not estrogenic. People use Anovar only cycles, but in the end, because they won't get too puffy, at least most don't, but it does have side effects for men and women. There are androgenic side effects in addition to being very anabolic. Classically, men will use this not alone, or they may start using it alone, but then they classically add it to other steroids. There's so many permutations and combinations of steroids, but today I'm telling you what's classically been used for decades and is still used today. These are the combinations to get big and strong, folks. Liver toxicity, very interesting with Anavar. People feel that it's quite safe, and we don't know if it's quite safe. But for my opinion, if you look scientifically on the LFTs, it is softer on LFTs. But it's not that soft for everyone. And you don't know what you're getting from the underground. And what are the doses? If you're taking up to 80 milligrams or 100 milligrams, you're definitely going to see effect on transaminases. Doctor, please be aware. You see an increase of transaminases and LFTs you're going to think about oral steroids, not to mention in conjunction with intermuscular steroids. Please pay attention to this. It can be very, very esoteric. People, they want to tell you the truth, doctors. Be open to these people. They're looking for help. I'm overloaded. I need support. I need healthcare professionals to support me and work with me. This is 100% ethical. These are people that are not athletes and they're looking for help. Please help them. Continuing on, we have the, the injectable steroids, classic. We have the big ones. We have the oral steroids. What other drugs are used to get big and strong? Pay attention, please, doctors. Human growth hormone and IGF-1. See the video on this. These are anabolic, but they're not androgenic. These are used currently today by professional athletes all over the world in different regimens, in different doses. It's very difficult legally to detect this. You could look at this into yourself. I am not an expert in drug detection, but I am told by professional athletes that, doctor, we use human growth hormone and durations of IGF-1. This is for bulking, depending on the dose and what drugs you're using it with. This is for cutting. What an amazing world this is. Side effects, again, no androgenics. You see a lot of women using this. There's no hair loss. There's no gynecomastia. Potentially, obviously, there's not going to be anabolic steroid-induced hypogonadism. 
it doesn't mean it's not going to affect their central nervous system overall in their body with the doses and it doesn't mean they use it alone no one's using these drugs alone certainly over years of using it for performance enhancement people are going to use these in combination all the time that's why this video is so important for you classic side effects are going to be dose dependent carpal tunnel syndrome you're going to see an impairment in insulin doctors this is full-blown medicine this is testosterone it's fascinating impaired fasting glucose is it permanent it usually isn't we don't have any studies on it we need studies it affects the gut you're going to see these pro bodybuilders and big bulky people yet very very lean less than 10 percent body fat but they have these huge guts that stick out why is that it's all the drugs it's growth hormone igf and insulin this is what it is can you imagine the far-reaching adverse health effects on these people please pay attention and please be kind to these people cost this is very expensive these are very expensive drugs that's why it's it's amazing that you see counterfeit properties and counterfeit issues going on with this drug across the world again on the heart i'm worried about the heart i'm worried about cancer when it's long term treated there are no studies on this i hear rumors that the rich and famous are being more careful with this drug and they're coming off this drug as an anti-aging drug that's human growth hormone next drug that's added on to men that want to get super big and strong insulin doctors see my video on insulin it's absolutely unbelievable people young men are using insulin it's so sad to me i just can't believe it they're using insulin we have to understand that you're going to see people coming in with insulin so many times they'll use insulin no one's really dying from insulin thank god but they're having obviously issues with hypoglycemia there's car accidents they end up in the emergency room the the the, the first responders will come they'll check a blood a finger stick and they'll see they're very low they don't understand what's going on this young man are you a diabetic no and they're going to be very very nervous about telling the truth please open up with me please accept these people that they're hurting themselves potentially and this is a health epidemic please work with me on this interesting feature on this though pro power lifters and men of strength they don't like insulin they tell me because they can't hold on to things they can't hold on to their weights because the pump is so outrageous and that's again why people like it to get big and strong and it grows massive muscle insulin is very anabolic we've known it for years i really hope this helps everyone as this is a far-reaching epidemic across the world please healthcare providers please come on board with me please watch what i'm going to do in my educational video series and i have a great announcement on my educational company going forward i hope this helps everyone thank you so much dr thomas o'connor here i'm glad you made it to the end of the video if you liked it hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel and i look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future Stay strong and healthy.